Language is the common denominator in my artistic practice. I started working for the first time with language when I was painting graffiti in my teenage years. I used to write stupid, funny statements next to the pieces that I painted. I capture what is going on around me, but also inside of me. So I see it as a form of documentation. I started combining this with performance when I started to write them on skin in form of tattooing. I don't restrict myself to one medium when I work with language because some texts make sense in public spaces and some texts are much more intimate. Language is also a space for me where I can make errors. I don't try to be anything that I'm not. It's just me, it's my thoughts, it's my vulnerability, but also my honesty. The installation is a collaboration between Yasmina Dexter and me, programmed by Elias Azizi, which is based on a poem that I wrote that I painted onto light boxes and then blacked out again. Tears. Through this programmed light, there is a bridge between sound and painting. This is something that allows a painting to be quiet, but also to, to raise its voice. This whole installation is about quite universal themes such as lust, loss, identity. The idea of blacking out goes totally against what graffiti actually intends to do, which is to have a bold statement easily readable for a lot of people. Through this installation, it's evident that we don't get the bigger picture always and that we actually need to spend some time with a certain subject in order to understand it as a whole. The only text fragment that is actually visible is not with USA. Somebody who would look at the installation, they would instantly have a political connotation but the text that is underneath this is memories of those who are not with us anymore. By blacking out and by taking away, we can change the perception of what somebody sees and therefore also what somebody perceives as their reality. It actually lays open everything that can go wrong with communication. A lot of conflicts, a lot of misunderstanding is based upon miscommunication. Through my observations, I want to build bridges to other people that maybe experience similar conflicts. It doesn't matter whether you're 18 years old or whether you're 90 years old. These themes, they're transgenerational. They are things that can build bridges between people because you don't feel you're so much alone with it. Memories, those who are with us.